I'm Hilary Doxford. I'm 54. I've been diagnosed with Alzheimer's early onset. Three or four years ago, um, things started getting hard for me at work. I found when I was watching television, I was losing which one was the goodie and which one was the baddie. I also noticed that music, I would hear bits of tunes and no, I knew the song, but I couldn't continue the tune. So it, that worried me because I do love music. I do know songs. I do know how tunes go. And then last year, things had been getting worse and worse, really struggling at work. I'd had a pretty intensive meeting. It was a one-to-one -one meeting with somebody I hadn't met before. A few weeks later, I was at a conference and I would have sworn I had never met that person before. But that freaked me out a fair bit, having sat opposite somebody for two hours, having an intense conversation with them and then not recognising them just a couple of weeks later. So I went back to the, the GP last year. He listened and he actually sent me for some tests and a brain scan. And as a result of the tests and the brain scan, um, I got the diagnosis of early onset Alzheimer's. I wasn't surprised because I've had suspicions for seven years that something wasn't right. So I wasn't surprised, um, didn't want to particularly hear it, but was glad there was a reason for why I'd been struggling so much at work. I hadn't told Peter, and it was not because we have secrets, because we don't, but I just didn't want to worry him if there was nothing wrong. Well, I can remember it quite distinctly because Hilary came home and she said, I might as well tell you, I've got Alzheimer's. It was a shock at the time. Um, you're getting used to it now, or living with it. If I look back, I can see a, a change, but I can't see a change from yesterday. A lot of people say, what's the point of having a diagnosis if there's no cure? And it does make you wonder. But for me, yes, I'm glad I got the diagnosis because it's made me up my ideas up and you know it is about living life to the full whilst you can so if I hadn't had that diagnosis I'd probably carry on struggling and struggling at work not enjoying work not having much of any other life because I'm trying to carry on working at least with the diagnosis you can make or you can try and make plans for what you're going to do for the next the next well, however long you've got I know I'm, I'm young compared to most people who get the diagnosis but if somebody gets it young I'd say just carry on doing what you want to do if you want to carry on working carry on working you know it is a it is a wake-up call about life does have its limits so do what everybody says when they find themselves in this position live life to the full count your blessings can I just say as well about the Alzheimer's Society. It also helps, I think, if you can get involved in something like this because you become aware of what's going on, what developments there are. Um, if you've got a particular problem, there'll be somebody else that's already gone through it. So I would definitely say join the Alzheimer's Society because it really is a good organisation and I've, I've had a lot of help from them just by being able to go onto their website. It is about doing what you can whilst you can because you don't know what's around the corner tomorrow. We live for today, don't we? <laughs> And yes. enjoy it. And enjoy it.